It's common knowledge. Oh, I've got a problem with my green screen and I don't know what it is. But bear with me, I'm not technical. I don't know what's going wrong, but uh, it has only just started doing that. I don't know why. Anyway, hello. It's common knowledge that I am the world's worst builder when it comes to Sims 4. And it's a horrible day today. It's Thursday, quarter past nine in the morning. And we're in lockdown. I'm on holiday. Holiday. And we can't go anywhere, obviously. Even more so now with it being so horrible. So what I thought I might do is eventually get my green screen sorted out. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get this building issue sorted out. Um, guess what I found yesterday? And I'm surprised I didn't pick this up before. But Deligracy did a very simple house build in The Sims 4. So what I think we might do is um, we'll get her video up and... I will try and replicate the build that she made for this particular video. It came out last November and it looks simple enough. It looks straightforward enough. However, this is me we're talking about. So we'll give it a try and we'll see how it comes out. Hello everyone, Hello. it is me and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be actually doing some building and Yay. I've been getting a lot of feedback that you guys would like to be taught how to build oh, nice, yes, yes, yes. simple homes. If you click over here, you can go to different light modes. So I'm going to go to afternoon because that's the brightest light and the easiest to see. And if you press the letter G on your keyboard, you can turn the grid mode on and off. So that's up to you whether or not you want to use it. But today I thought what we would do is maybe just do the most simple home ever. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get this room tool here. And with this, we can draw a box. Let's draw, and um, I am making this up as I go. <laughs> so bear with me. Let's draw one longish rectangle, just like that. And let's then build a shorter rectangle on this side. So we've got like two nice little rectangles. If you press page down, uh, this will actually go up and down levels, whether you press page down or page up. And if you have a home and end key, those are the keys that are going to put your walls up and down. So this is obviously on a PC, not a Mac. I don't know what the controls are on a Mac anymore. I used to, but I've forgotten now. If we press H on the keyboard, uh, it goes across to your select tool, or you can just click up here. And if you click on the walls, you can actually pick the wall size. So there's medium wall, there's also tall wall, and the original, which was the short wall. Let's go up to a medium wall, just because I like homes with a higher ceiling. <laughs> now I'm gonna go page up to get back to my ceiling. Let's go to the roof tool and straight away make it look kind of nice. Let's go to this half gabled roof tool. And by pressing the full stop and comma key, you can spin it around quite easily. So I'm just rotating it around. We're gonna drag it out. We're gonna pull it down like this. Ooh, hang on, hang and on. then we've got an arrow up here that you can pull down just like that to make a nice roof. And then we're gonna get the same roof again, rotate it so it's facing inwards towards the other one, pull it across the whole way of this shorter roof, and then pull it down again. And if we wanna get a little bit of a mid-century vibe happening, I'm going to actually get this little arrow on the corner here. See how there's uh, some shorter arrows on each side. Get the shorter arrow, pull that in, so it tucks nicely underneath this one. So I'm just gonna make it just slightly longer. I don't know, I just think it looks kind of cute. If you go over here to the roof patterns, right? we can then choose a nice roof pattern. Uh, Cause I have some extra packs installed. Right, I'm gonna pause you there because you're going too fast. Um, so I get that. Do that. Do that. 
do that. Is that right? Do that. Oh. Does that look right? I think that's right. Oh. So it's, it's starting to come together now. I also like to put a chimney on top sometimes, even if there's not a fireplace inside. So let's just get a roof sculpture. I'm gonna go for this little square one in the black colorway, and maybe I'll put it on the larger side at the back just here. Cool. And then let's uh, let's go down the level. I think we need some lights because we need to see what, our, what we're doing. So let's go over to objects by function. You'll know, or you'll notice that there is objects by room and objects by function. So this is like if you just want to find all of, say, your decorations uh, by the item, or if you want to decorate by room, you can just select which room you're working on. It's going to have, say, decorations tailored for that room. So you just pick which way you want to organize it. But let's go to objects by function. Let's go to the drop down menu and click on lighting. And we're going to go over here to ceiling lamps where there's a really good base game source of light right here. And this emits a really nice balanced amount of light. So I'm going to again go for the black. I'm going to just place a couple in here for now just to see what we're doing. <laughs> And now I've got to think about our floor plan. So let's press B to shortcut to walls. And we're going to click on the first wall tool if it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hang on. How? How do you? How do you get to bird's eye view? Do I need to, is this something I should know about? Okay, um, I think I need to do a bit of Googling. What is it they say? I was today years old when I figured out you could do that. But absolutely no idea you could do that. Oh well, I know now.
listening or evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. And this is the finished house. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's come out lovely. And what I've done is I've had a sim playing in it for a few days um, just to make sure that everything works. So um, this is Tasha. And she's settled in quite nicely. I just wanted to make sure that all well, the house obviously worked and things in it were okay. And she has been having the best time. Now, if we have a look at what is in the house, we've got the living room just here. Nice living room area, dining table and the kitchen, which is here. Now, I would never, ever have thought of building this post at the side, but I think it looks fantastic. I'm very pleased with it. And then over here, we've got uh, the bathroom through the window there. Can you see that? Wonderful. And then over here, we've got the bedroom. And I'm really pleased that it's come out this well. And I'm so grateful to Deligracy for teaching me how to build a house. Now the house itself is up on the gallery. I will say though, I think I may have used some custom content in the bathroom. I think the toilet and the cabinets there are custom content. But apart from that, I think you'll be okay with everything else if you've got all the packs. But uh, yeah, there is, if we can find her, whoops, there we go. Tasha Dobson living in the house that I built with Deligris's help. <laughs> right, thank you for um, watching the video and I'll see you very shortly for another one.